Time à mes deux piqueurs masques from the last of us. But... Hey Epic Crafters, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to turn this into this. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a clicker mask from the TV show The Last of Us using only pretty much cardboard and paper. That's, that's incredible! Of course, you'll find the complete list of everything I use in the description box below as well as all templates necessary for you to make this impressive mask yourself at home. So the first thing to do is cutting out the templates that you'll find in my shop in the description box below. Using a regular glue stick, glue them on your cardboard and cut the pieces using a precision knife, a box cutter or a very sharp scissor. You'll have to do that for all the following pieces of this tutorial. First, cut the piece number one. With your fingers, smash the corrugations to make it more malleable and close the notches with glue. To do so, I used a cheap 15 watt hot glue gun that I bought from Amazon. Don't forget that you'll find all tools that I used in the description box below this video. Next, repeat all of it for the piece number 2 and glue both pieces together on this edge here. Cut the piece number 3, give it a curve in the direction of the corrugations. Do the same with the piece number 4 and glue both pieces together on this edge right here. And glue the element 1 and 2 you made before on the top here, aligning the middle of the pieces right here. Next, cut the piece number 5, with the help of a ruler, fold all the red lines and glue all notches together with glue. And do the same for the pieces number 6 to 13. And glue all of them on the edges here, on the red lines here, following the number order. Next, tear up pieces from a cardboard that is about 1 to 2 mm thick, smash the corrugations, and using the reference pictures that you'll find in the description box below with the templates, glue them on the mask to reproduce the different shapes of the funguses. Doing so, pay attention to leave these holes open for you to be able to see through the mask at the end. Try to replicate the shapes you see on the reference pictures, but keep in mind that there is no need for them to look perfect, as we're gonna hide them with paper in the next step anyway. And next, tear up pieces from a grey paper, the same kind you get within your Amazon deliveries for instance. Soak them into a mix of white glue and water. With your fingers, remove any excess of liquids, smash them to make them more malleable. We're gonna use them to cover the entire mask. Don't hesitate to use the tip of a dual knife to apply the paper more efficiently in the narrowest areas. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm a huge fan of that show. I was already a fan of the game and I was very looking forward to see what they were going to do with that show. I have to admit that I'm very not disappointed. I'm so happy with how it turned out. It's so good. I can't wait to see the rest of the season. How about you guys? What do you think about the show? Are you watching it now? Tell me if you want me to make more props on that show. Another mask, another maybe a, a one of the weapon or something. Tell me what in the comment section below. Next, using your hot glue gun, make several drops of hot glue like that. We're gonna use them to make the front teeth of our mask. To do so, wait for them to dry and shape the two ends of it with a regular scissor that way. And glue them on this edge right here. Next, using some brown paper that I soaked in the same mix of white glue and water, I crumpled small stripes and I glued them here to make the gums design. Next, using regular coloring pencil and the reference pictures that you'll find in the description box below with the template, color some parts of the fingers. I also used a regular grey pencil to darken slightly the deepest part of the mask. Next, tear up another small piece of brown paper, color it with a black marker, 
and glue it behind the hole of the gum's hair. The idea here is to hide the top of your mouth behind it. I also used a pink varnish to color the gums, but don't hesitate to use any type of pink paint or even red paint, it will do the job just fine. I also used some cream white varnish for the teeth. It didn't work as expected, but it gave them a dirty look which is pretty cool. Next, to make it shiny and sustainable for years to go, I applied two layers of glossy varnish on the entire mask. I also glued a string behind it here and here for me to be able to wear the mask. Pretty scary, isn't it? And if you enjoy making scary masks like this one, click this playlist here to learn how to make Jason Brewery's mask, a predator mask, a xenomorph head, and many more, all out of cardboard and paper. Also, don't forget to subscribe on your way out and hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next epic build with cardboard. Thank you so much for watching, and I see you in the next one. So, I don't know about you guys, guys, guys. So, <laughs> to, uh, to learn how oh, far.